You can use line numbering to make it easy for people to refer to specific lines in your document. Line numbers appear in the margins of the documents and will be printed with the document. LibreOffice Writer gives you almost full control as to where and how the line numbers will appear. You can set stipulations for line numbers in the line numbering dialog as well as various paragraph style dialogs. You can change the appearance of the line numbers themselves by changing the attributes in the line numbering character style. I have a sample document open with the title, some headings, and some paragraphs. I've included both headers and footers to illustrate some line numbering features. I've also included a text box and a couple of frames with text inside them. I'll go to the Page Styles area of the Styles deck of the sidebar. I'll right-click on Default Page Style and select Modify. I'll go to the Page tab. I'll make sure Background Covers Margins is deselected. I'll go to the Area tab. I'll select Color and choose Light Yellow 4. I'll click OK. You can now see the extents of the text area of the page. I'll go to Tools, Line Numbering. To enable line numbering for the whole document, I'll select Show Numbering. Notice the check mark beside blank lines. I'll show you how this can be helpful. Character style is set to line numbering. If you want to change the color or other features of the line numbers, you can edit the line numbering character style in the character styles area in the styles deck of the sidebar. Format is set to 1, 2, 3. Position is set to left. This means that the line numbers will appear to the left of the left margin of the page. Spacing is set to 0 0.20 inches. This means that there will be a space of 0 0.20 inches between the line numbers and the left margin of the page. Interval indicates how often a line number will appear. I'll change interval to 1 for now. I'll talk about the other settings later. I'll click OK. The line numbers appear to the left of every line. I'll zoom in a little. Remember the check mark beside blank lines? Why aren't numbers appearing in the blank spaces between the headings and the paragraphs? These aren't blank lines. These are spaces set by the before paragraph and after paragraph settings in the paragraph style dialogs. I'll place the cursor at the end of the first paragraph. I'll hit enter. Unless I type something, this is a blank line and a line number appears beside it. Having a check mark beside blank lines in the line numbering dialog reveals the blank line without needing to turn on formatting marks. I'll hit backspace to remove the blank line. I'll go to the page style stack of the sidebar. I'll right click on default page style and select modify. I'll go to the Area tab. I'll select None to get rid of the background. I'll click OK. You can now see how the line numbers will look when printed. The line numbers are close enough to see which number refers to which line, but far enough away to set them apart from the text. If you want the numbers to be closer or further away from the text, you can change the spacing setting in the line numbering dialog. I'll go to Tools, Line Numbering to open the dialog. Let's take a closer look at Position. I'll click the down arrow of the drop-down box. The choices are Left, Right, Inner, and Outer. I'll choose Right. I'll click OK. With Position set to Right, the numbers are to the right of the right margin. This makes the numbers harder to associate with the lines if the body text is left justified. 
I would only set position to right if the body text flowed from right to left as in some languages. You could also use it if the text was fully justified. I'll go to Tools, Line Numbering again. I'll click the down arrow beside Position. Inner and Outer could be used with bound documents with fully justified text. If the text wasn't fully justified, either the numbers on the left page or the right page would be hard to associate with the lines of text. I'll set position back to left. Now let's consider the interval setting. You can use interval to set whether you want numbers set for every line, every two lines, every three lines, etc. If you set interval to more than one, it may be harder to determine the number of a line that does not have a number beside it. You can use the boxes in the separator area to help readers determine line numbers for lines that have no number beside them. I'll illustrate. I'll set interval to 10. For text, I'll type a right arrow. For every, I'll select 5. I'll click OK. Lines 10 and 20 have a number beside them. There is a right arrow beside lines 5 and 15. I'll go to Tools, Line Numbering. I'll set interval back to 1. With interval set to 1, the information in the separator area will not be used. I'll click OK to save the changes and close the dialog. Now, what if you want only the lines to be numbered? I'll go to the Paragraph Styles area of the sidebar. I'll right-click on Title and select Modify. I'll go to the Outline and List tab. Include this paragraph in line numbering is selected. Many Paragraph Styles have this set by default. I'll deselect Include This Paragraph in Line Numbering in this dialog. I'll click OK. The title is no longer included in line numbering. Now I'll show you what to do if you only want the lines in the regular paragraphs to be numbered. I'll right click on Heading in the sidebar and select Modify. I'll go to the Outline and List tab. I'll deselect Include This Paragraph in Line Numbering. Changing the settings in the heading style will also change the settings in all of the style's descendants. Style hierarchy is a powerful feature of LibreOffice. If you don't know what style hierarchy is, read the user guides or help files. I explain style hierarchy in other videos and courses. I'll click OK. The various headings are no longer included in line numbering. Now let's say you want line numbering to begin again with every first sublevel heading. I'll right click on Heading 2 in the sidebar and select Modify. I'll go to the Outline and List tab. I'll select Include this paragraph in line numbering. You must select this setting in order to set Restart at this paragraph beneath it. I'll select Restart at this paragraph. I'll leave Start With at 1. You cannot set Start With to 0 to keep the heading itself from being included in the line numbering. I'll click OK. The numbering starts with 1 at the first heading 2. I'll scroll down so you can see that the line numbering starts again with number 1 at the next heading 2. You could use this feature to restart line numbering with every chapter or major section of a document. I'll right click on heading 2 in the sidebar and select Modify. I'll go to the Outline and List tab. I'll deselect Include this paragraph in line numbering. I'll click OK. I'll go to Tools, Line Numbering. 
look at the count area on the right. I'll check restart every new page. I'll also check include header and footer to show you these two features at once. I'll click OK. The header now includes the line number 1. The first line in the text area also begins with line number 1. Line numbers in headers and footers are counted separately from the line numbers in the other text. I'll scroll down. Notice that the footer displays the line number 2. Headers and footers do not have separate line number counters. I'll scroll down some more. The header on this page begins with line number 1 again. If I had not selected Restart Every New Page in the Line Numbering dialog, this header would read line number 3. The text on this page begins with line number 1. I'll go to Tools, Line Numbering. I'll deselect Include Header and Footer. I'll also deselect Restart Every New Page. Now I'll select Lines and Text Frames. I'll click OK. I'll scroll down to the text box with the light blue background. This has no line numbers because it is not a text frame. The two outlined frames have text inside. Notice that each of these text frames has its own line numbers starting with 1. These line numbers are separate from the line numbers in the body text of the page. In this video, I've covered most of the features related to line numbering. I went pretty fast, so you may need to watch the video again to get a better feel for what each of the settings does. You should also experiment in your own documents to get comfortable with using these settings. Click on More in the gray area beneath this video to find links to my other videos and courses.